Hey guys, what's up? James or Wizite here and welcome back to another Destiny video. Today, the Iron Banner returns to Destiny's Tower and this time Lord Saladin brings a new weapon for us to work towards. Scory's Revenge, which is the Iron Banner Pulse Rifle. Now you guys will all know that I love my accurate weapons and Pulse Rifles are a weapon type I love. Now, I just wish they were a bit more useful, so... In the second half of this video, I'll be introducing the discussion where I discuss my personal thoughts and speculation on this weapon. Now recently, you guys have been really enjoying my live stream, so today I plan on live streaming some Iron Banner. I'll start the stream as soon as the Iron Banner goes live, which is 6pm GMT or 11am PST. So if you guys would like to come and watch, I'll be streaming right here on my YouTube channel. I'll also plan on inviting some of my subscribers to join me and play the Iron Banner with me. But let's take a look at Scory's Revenge. Now, I don't think anyone in the game actually has Scory's Revenge at the moment, and this is the first time it will be obtainable, but I could be slightly wrong on that. I did search on the internet to see if anyone had any gameplay or any images on it, but I couldn't find any. So what I've done is I've researched all the Pulse Rifles within Destiny to find which one is most similar to Scory's Revenge. I went over to Planet Destiny to get this information and images. You can find a link to their website in the description if you guys would like to check them out. But first, let's take a look at Scory's base stats and perks. So here you can see the believed primary stats of Scory's Revenge. Now in brief, high fire rate, which means always a low impact. A relatively small range, medium stability, and medium reload. Now, at the moment, this is looking to be a 3 to 4 burst kill as long as the majority of your bullets are headshots. Let's take a look at what the possible perks could be to intend the better rolls. So, for the first perk, it looks like you can either get Headseeker, Glass Half Full, Grenadier, Range Finder, Feed in Frenzy, or secret round. Now out of those, I'd probably try and re-roll it to get either Headseeker as the impact is low and getting a body shot, then getting a headshot will cause extra damage, or if you don't want Headseeker, I'd maybe opt for Glass Half Full, which will make the last 15 bullets in the magazine deal additional damage. In the next column, it looks like you could possibly get either Extended Mag, Hammer Forged, High Caliber Rounds, Flared Magwell, Lightweight, Skip Round, Snapshot, Perfect Balance, or field scout. Now, out of all of them, I'd probably opt for Hammer Forge due to the range on this weapon isn't the best and doesn't appear to be the best, and Hammer Forge will give you improved range and accuracy. Now, moving on to the last perk you can get on this weapon, it looks like you can get either Hip Fire, Full Auto, Reactive Reload, Spray and Play, or Third Eye. Now, interestingly enough, I'd either opt for Reactive Reload, which will give you a damage bonus if you kill someone and reload, or I'd opt for third eye, so when you aim down the weapon sights, your radar will stay active, which is super useful in the Crucible. Now remember guys, this is just my personal thoughts and opinions, and in a moment I'll be introducing the discussion, and you guys can put forward your thoughts on this weapon, the role, and whether it will be an effective piece to use. So earlier in the video, I said I compared this Pulse Rifle to all the other Pulse Rifles in Destiny. And the one which I believe it's most similar to is something I've been trying to get my hands on for a while now. Praedif's Timepiece. So let's compare their stats. Now as you can see, they are both pretty similar. They both have the same fire rate and the same impact. The range and stability and reload are all very close as well, though the Revenge wins on the range where the timepiece wins on the reload speed. So, let's start the discussion. Now, between Scory's Revenge and Praetor's timepiece, which weapon do you guys think will be more useful for PvP? And which weapon do you think will be more useful for Vanguard activity like Nightfall Strikes and Prison of Elders? Now, bear in mind the elemental damage and things like Third Eye, Reactive Reload, and all of the perks that are possible to get on Scory's Revenge. Now, I personally think for Scory's Revenge, it will be much more useful in PvP because you can re-roll it, but the timepiece will be more useful for the Vanguard because of its elemental damage. Now, obviously, re-rolling weapons these days are a massive advantage that we have, but you can't re-roll things like raid weapons because they are set 
to what they've been created as. But I'm interested in what you think though guys, so feel free to leave me a comment. Once I get my hands on Screw's Revenge, I'll be sure to post a full rep and review on it for you guys right here on my channel. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for that weapon review. Remember, each Tuesday, guys, I post a new video on the Taken King. So look out for that video later on today, as well as the live stream on the Iron Banner. But I've been James Wizite. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.